Hey guys, welcome to the Turbo V6 YouTube channel and welcome to the LS1 Boost OS. The LS1 Boost OS is essentially my response to the kind of lacking feature set from stock computer programming. So uh, I thought I could do better, so hopefully you guys think so too. So let's jump into how to access it. So it is posted on the pcmhacking.net website, which I'll link in the description below. It should take you to uh, essentially this forum that will list the current release of the LS1 Boost OS if I continue to uh, develop it, which I hope to. And also PCM Hammer which is the way to flash the tune once you modify it. So you can see here the current release is uh, PCM Hammer 18 and then here is the LS1 Boost OS uh, version 1 and to jump into what is the the LS1 Boost OS. So it's essentially allows you to tune uh, when adding a turbocharger to a vehicle with a stock computer. So I've allowed up to uh, really over three bar, so three and a half bar, depending on, you know, you can use any sensor and tune all the way up to um, an over three bar. Uh, the other uh, big feature is a open loop EQ ratio table up to 340 kPa. So you no longer have to worry about uh, power enrichment. You can essentially set that to uh, EQ ratio of uh, one, or um, or if you want to still use it, it still functions, uh, but there's really no use for it because you can tune into boost uh, with that open loop EQ ratio. Uh, the other thing is a boost spark adder. So uh, that, that allows you to add and subtract timing based on uh, manifold pressure. The spark cut engine speed limiter is a exactly what it you know what it implies. It's uh, above a certain RPM. It will cut ignition by reducing the dwell for the coil to zero. And then essentially the same thing applies for the spark cut launch control limiter. So. Uh, based on a few parameters, you will either uh, enable or disable spark cut launch control, and then it will cut uh, ignition via zeroing the dwell. Uh, and then during launch control, so when launch control is active, there is a spark adder based on manifold pressure. So um, I've previously used this uh, along with uh, one of the other features. Uh, to build boost quicker. So you can subtract timing and add timing based on manifold pressure while you're on launch control. So that can really help, you know, light the turbo off, um, you know, whether or not uh, you have a small turbo and you just wanna, you know, get into boost really fast, or if you have a really big turbo and you really need the help uh, of the extra exhaust gas energy uh, to kind of spool the turbo up. Uh, so after that, there is a timed launch spark adder. So after you launch, this is a modification of the timing from when you either let go of the clutch or let go of the brake pedal. So uh, based on the tune file, uh, and that allows you to basically reduce power on the launch. So that first little bit, you can pull some timing and then you know ramp the timing back in uh, and uh, I've used that along with the launch control spark adder to help, you know, a um, terribly geared and um, really torquey setup to kind of pull power on the launch without having, you know, to, to help not spin the tire. So the other one which I haven't used myself, uh, but it was pretty easy to add, is a spark cut uh, flat foot shift. So for manual vehicles, you can essentially keep the throttle floored, stab the clutch in, 
and you know there's a few parameters that you set up so that it won't activate when you don't want it to but uh, it should cut spark whenever you are uh, you know hitting the shift so uh, that's basically all the current features um, the operating systems so I've, I've made this work on both p01 and p59 pcms so um, there's two operating systems for the p01 uh, because um, this operating system, the 2156, seems uh, very popular, so I figured I'd add that one as well, but uh, mainly I think the 6125 OS for the P01 should really be the more popular one because it allows flex fuel, and there's pretty much no differences from um, that I could tell from the 2156 other than there's just really not a whole lot of open source support yet for the 6125 OS, so hopefully people will start building that up. And then for the P59, there's only one OS, which is the one that I run, and it's the, you know, the 7603 OS, which I believe is pretty much uh, functions in every uh, kind of uh, platform. So there should be an operating system, a base operating system, tune file that uh, you should be able to work with any, uh, any platform. So to get into how to upgrade to the LS1 Boost OS. So uh, like I said, you're going to need uh, some software, so you'll need to uh, download and install Tuner Pro. Uh, it's really simple, uh, basically any other software, uh, it's free, you can download it. If you want, you can donate, and it, and it basically gets rid of a splash screen every time you open it up. But uh, once you have that installed, then you'll come back and you need to download this uh, DLL file and put it in this directory. Uh, depending on where you installed Tuner Pro, it'll go in that directory. And that basically allows uh, Tuner Pro to be able to compute uh, some of the uh, checksums for the file so that whenever you flash it, it doesn't, uh, you know, not run. Uh, and then depending on the PCM and OS that you have, you'll need to download the XDF file uh, for your particular application. So... Once you have all those files, that's really uh, along with uh, PCM Hammer, you'll need that to flash. Um, you basically make sure you save a copy of your current tune file and then uh, select a base file for patching. Uh, open up Tuner Pro, uh, you'll select XDF. So I have all of them you know, in this directory. So let's say, let's go with the 7603 OS and you'll see it'll populate a whole bunch of tables and then the patch and you'll need to open the bin file. So, so once you have the bin file selected and uh, the uh, XDF, you'll see the bin file file name and the XDF file name at the top and you'll be able to simply open up the boost OS patch and it should say not patched and you'll be able to click apply patch apply and then we open it back up it should patch just fine and then these are essentially the updated tables that you'll be able to modify uh, mainly I included these last ones uh, just for reference um, the cylinder volume is needed so I can compute uh, the volumetric efficiency to a VE value as opposed to uh, this uh, convoluted weird looking uh, value that uh, GM uh, uses. And the trans type is really just a reference um, so you know uh, what the transmission is set up as. So. Um, that's important for the flat foot shift uh, and the uh, launch. So you can see I have tool tips for pretty much every single one of these so you'll know you know exactly what you're doing, what you're tuning um, and you can modify the base values that I have in there. So <clears throat> for this example, uh, for the base file, for the log control parameters, I have it set up so that the vehicle speed needs to be less than five miles an hour. 
the throttle position needs to be over 60% and the engine will cut spark over 2600 RPM. And of course you can just you can modify that however you see fit. <clears throat> and again the flat foot shift will only be applicable if you have a manual transmission which the trans type would be a 2. So you don't need to modify those if you have an automatic because those will not be uh, in use. And then all of the spark adders, the launch spark adder versus time, the launch control spark adder versus manifold pressure, and then the boost spark adder versus manifold pressure are all zeroed out. So if you want to you wanna go ahead and fill those out as you see fit. And then once you have all that done, you need to flash using PCM hammer. So uh, you can go through the uh, kind of write-ups and, and how-tos on PCM Hammer separately. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully you guys will be interested in um, the future ideas that I have for uh, the Boost OS going forward. But uh, that's going to be all for this time. So if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to uh, stay up to date with uh, future versions and features of the Boost OS, so thanks. We'll see you later.